Hi, in this video I want to take a look at the Weighted Normals modifier. We can find it where we find all of our modifiers, but this one is in the Modify uh, category here, so you can find it right here under Weighted Normals. This category is, um, it doesn't uh, manipulate geometry directly, instead it manipulates uh, things like UV maps or vertex groups, and in this case normals. So it, it still affects the object, but not um, the uh, actual geometry of it. So what is this uh, modifier going to do, the weighted normals uh, modifier? To demonstrate that, I'm just going to take and uh, duplicate this cube a couple of times. And I'm going to add this, um, or go into edit mode for this cube here, and just add uh, a couple of bevels. I just scroll my mouse, the mouse there to increase the segments. Control B, by the way, for the bevel tool, and then just right click and shade smooth. And this could be this is a smooth shaded object that uh, it looks great and it's uh, how it should be shaded uh, as a high poly object. And it's high poly because of these extra vertices that we have added to uh, each corner and the edges that make up the uh, the rounded edges here. But in some cases, like in a real-time application or um, a game, we can't do this to an object because this would uh, um, eat up too much resources. So instead we might have a bevel that just looks like this. That's a single bevel to just smooth off out the uh, surface a little bit to move from this very hard edge to something that's at least a little bit more smooth. But if I go in here and shade smooth this object, you can see that we have uh, quite a few shading artifacts here and we get uh, a very contrasty look. So the weighted normals um, modifier help us to combat this. So if I go in here and just uh, select weighted normals, uh, at first you will see nothing happens because we have to enable auto smooth to, uh, to make this modifier work. So for that, we'll go to the data tab here and go into normals and just select auto smooth here. I'll just bring this angle up to something like 60, just out of habit. All right, so let's go back to the modifier and you can immediately see that this looks much better and this uh, could work very well with a, a real time application or game. We can change the, um, the weight here um, what it does is that it gives more weight for our normals to the larger uh, surfaces. It's based on the surface area here. So a larger face, like this top face or any of the side faces, will get higher influence than the, the ones that's in between here, pointing the normals for our vertices in the correct direction. So let's just um, go into edit mode here and uh, We'll just uh, tick our normals here, and you can see that they are kind of averaged, pointing in uh, some uh, in a direction in between this angle and the this angle here, and they will keep on doing that even if we have this on or not. But if I apply this, um, let's go out to object mode. Uh, you can see that they straighten quite a bit there and the more normals become more weighted towards the larger faces. If I just control Z we can bring the weight up to 100 and apply and you can see that now they are facing straight up. So that's what this modifier is actually doing. We'll just uh, remove that and remove that there. The manual way to do this would be to uh, select a face here, shift G to bring up the select similar menu and I will go with area to select all of those uh, and then I will press Alt and N uh, let's see here, set from faces that will also set the uh, uh, normals pointing for those faces uh, straight out so that would be uh, like a uh, 100 weight in the modifier so that's uh, kind of what it's doing, uh, but the, the weighted normals can also work together with the bevel modifier. 
So let's go over to this cube now. I'll just add a bevel modifier. I'll increase the width somewhat there. And the value that we got down here, set face strength mode. Um, if we set this to all, and then we add the weight to normal, uh, then we'll also have to shade smooth and add auto smooth. And just as a habit, I'll set this to 60. Uh, usually you want uh, a higher value when you have like a single bevel here because the of the angle that's being created here. All right, so you can see that this now um, has a pretty good shading as well. So I'll just go way to normals there. You can see that they get uh, kind of the same shading and they're not too far off from our uh, high poly here. So this is a good middle ground between a high poly um, that, and a low poly, but still with a decent uh, looking shading for real time applications. So that's kind of what that modifier does. It automates this for us uh, together with the auto smooth feature in the data tab down here. All right, so thank you for viewing. I hope you found it uh, useful and uh, see you in another video. Bye.